Hey, good morning and welcome to Lori Farm. Well, today's a pretty nice day and I don't intend to spoil it. I like using this uh, back bucket here for doing various things around and uh, noticed the other day that I had a little bit of a problem. Uh, one of the one of the welds didn't hold up real good so today i'm gonna make a repair but i thought i would also talk about uh, what this bucket is and who made it and how it all works these these old back buckets are pretty cool the uh the company that actually made it is uh dearborn uh it's quite old and uh i got two of them uh here take a walk with me and i'll show you the other one so you can see this one i haven't redone uh hasn't been painted or anything it's pretty much the original way that i i bought it I've had it for a couple of years. Um, I, uh, I think I paid a couple hundred dollars for this this particular one. The old bucket works pretty good with the exception of uh, the fact that you have to actually drive into whatever you're going to scoop since it's forward facing. Uh, that kind of led me to thinking outside the box and what could I do to have one that I could back into the pile. I know for many years that uh, manufacturers made buckets that you could use that could be spun around, but that wasn't the case with the bucket that I have. I came across an ad for another one of these buckets. The uh, owner only wanted $20 and it was pretty close to the house, so I decided to go over and take a look at what they had. I quickly realized that this would be my best attempt at uh, getting myself a bucket that I could use in reverse and be able to back into the pile of anything that I wanted to and scoop. I started to look at what modifications needed to be made in order to make that happen. I figured out that if I cut off a bracket and made a couple of adjustments, welded on a couple of ears for the three-point hitch, I think that it was doable. I also needed to come up with a way to extend the top link. I needed about double the amount of length on it in order to have it reach both the bucket and the back of the tractor. So I ended up welding a pipe in between and it worked out perfect. As far as the fix for today went, it seems like everything went off without a hitch, got everything welded back up and in place and the bucket seems to be operating the way that it should. So. Well, I think at this point it's time to get back to work and get out in the field and start getting things prepped for planting corn. So I appreciate you watching today and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like our content, you'd like to support us, uh, hit that like button. Uh, if this is the first video you've watched, subscribe for more videos like this and uh, keep up with us. It's going to be a pretty big, exciting summer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.